rejoice, movie lovers. The Stanford Theater, which has been closed since early October, reopens next week with new, comfy seats and a trio of holiday favorites. To be entirely truthful, Cindy Mortensen at the Stanford Theater Foundation set me straight that the seats themselves aren't new. But the historic Palo Alto Movie House's original seats have new padding and new mohair coverings, so for moviegoers, it'll feel like it's 1925, or at least 1987, when the David and Lucille Packard Foundation bought and renovated the Stanford. Besides the seats, the renovations include new carpeting and repainting in some areas. So we look clean and lovely, but nothing has been substantially changed, Mortensen says. Which, for us, is as it should be. The work was supposed to be done last month, but it took a little longer than expected causing moviegoers to worry that the Stanford's annual Christmas Eve showing of It's a Wonderful Life might need to be cancelled. But Clarence the Angel came through, and the 9 p.m. show will go on if you don't already have your tickets, though, you may have to wait until next year as the very few that remain will go on sale at the box office at noon Saturday. However, you can still see two other seasonal faves, The Wizard of Ounce and The Shop Around the Corner, which are showing on a double bill December. 18 to 23 the theater will close again starting Christmas Day and be back in 2018. Check www.stanfordtheater.org for updates. It's been a tough fall for moviegoers with so many South Bay theaters closed, but there are some lights flickering in the lobby. The Prune Yard Cinemas, the reinvention of Camera 7 are in the hiring process and hope to open by the end of the year, with its bar-slash-restaurant, The Cedar Room, opening in early 2018. Renovations are going strong at the former Camera 3, which is expected to re-emerge as 3BELOW Theatres and Lounge with its first event, a sing-along screening of The Sound of Music, opening January. 11-14 Celtic Celebrations, Robert O'Driscoll, the new Irish Consul General in San Francisco, will make his way downtown San Jose on Friday for Winter Dance, the annual fundraiser for the San Jose Dublin Sister City Program at Trinity Cathedral. Following a mini-concert showcasing Trinity's 24 Bell Carillon, O'Driscoll will introduce the evening's headliners, Molly's Revenge, Krista Birch and the Rosemary Turco Irish Dancers. The show starts at 7 p.m., and tickets are $24 at the door. O'Flaherty's Irish Pub, which is just a few blocks away from Trinity at San Pedro Square, has been busy celebrating its 15th anniversary all week, with staff reunions, trivia, Salutes to local public safety officers and a tribute to Marie O'Flaherty, the pub's matriarch and the wife of late founder Ray O'Flaherty. Irish band The Wicked Tinkers will perform Friday at 6 p.m. And again for the big finale of the festivities, which start at 2 p.m. Saturday. Music to our ears, have you heard the big names coming to the jazz on the Plas series in Los Gatos next summer? Pete Escovito, Spencer Day, Paula West and Natalie Douglas are among them, but you won't get much bigger than R&B legend Aaron Neville, who will be the headliner at the Los Gatos Music and Arts Gala on June 26. Tickets for the gala, which is in its 16th year and its third being presented by Linda Lester, are available at www.jazzontheplaz.com, where you can also see a preview video for the season which is dedicated to the great Ella Fitzgerald.